Hey guys, Blakey here and welcome back to another video. Today I have another tutorial for you guys and that tutorial is on how to make a main menu. Now the main menu that we are going to be making is very simple and it just has three buttons and that is a start game which would take you on to your first level or anything like that in your game or maybe like a, a tutorial on the first level or anything like that. The second button is going to be an options button and the third is going to be a quit and this main menu is a really simple thing to learn and once you do pick up on it the script is super easy to learn as well so without further ado let's jump straight into the video so the first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure you've got an early scene open just a, a br an early scene I meant like a brand new scene just like that uh, completely blank apart from a main camera and the first thing we're going to want to add if you right click or you can go up to here and press create UI and then go ahead and drop down to canvas and this will bring out a canvas and an event system. You don't need to worry about an event system. That just places whenever you place any UI objects into the screen. The next thing you're going to want to do is jump down, click on your canvas and go to canvas scalar and make sure you have it on scale with screen size because this is an issue that many people face if you don't tick this and when you have, say you've got a button down here, if we go ahead and focus on this using F, if you put a button here but if the aspect is set to three aspects or different or if it's bigger the button will not scale with the screen it will just scale randomly and it is I remember when I first learned this and it was the most rage inducing thing ever until you learn that it has to scale with screen size so make sure you do that it's very very important apart from that you don't need to change anything else from here so the next thing that we're going to do we're going to right click on this canvas we're going to go to UI and we're going to go to buttons so, and with new versions of unity uh, I think it's like 2019 and onwards text mesh pro is installed with it if you don't have this option go down to windows package manager we can go ahead to this text mesh pro over here just like that and go ahead and install it but yeah like I said it should be already installed so anyway going back to your canvas go to UI button and you we're gonna go ahead and choose text mesh pro for today and you can see that it brings up a little button in our screen just like that we're gonna go ahead and look at the text on this and we're just gonna drag our button all the way to the top here I'm gonna leave it like that maybe we can resize it just a tad just like that maybe and we're gonna rename this to start just like that and you can see the font is a little bit crap. so go ahead and change the font if you want to uh, I quite like this banger one this looks pretty cool I'm gonna change the scale of the button just like that now you can see that is slightly off so if we can go ahead and click on the button we go up and we click on this go ahead and hold down alt and then press center and it will center your button to the center of the screen right here just like that go ahead and go back to our assets folder just like that and there we go you can see we've got our first little button I'm going to resize this again if you want to resize it to the center hold down alt while resizing and it will resize it just like that you can see our text doesn't resize with it so we can go ahead and just increase the font size very slightly maybe we can increase it to something like 30 or maybe 34 and you can see just like that we've got a very simple little button in our game I'm gonna go ahead and rename this to start and this is the very simple button that we have I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this two times one and two and we're gonna drag both of these down just like that and then we're gonna drag this one and I'm gonna drag that down there and then we can rename this one to options and this one to quit then go ahead into the text remember it's not your button that actually holds text we need to go to our text object and then you can change the actual text to options and you can see just like that we've got three little buttons obviously they don't do anything just yet because we need to add some script behind them but you can see where we're going to be adding it is where it says on click down here and then we're going to add something just like that but obviously we don't have anything just yet so what we're going to do I'm going to create a brand new object just like that we're going to name this main menu manager and this is what we're going to add we're going to add a script to this object which holds all the different functions that these buttons are going to do let's go ahead and hit add component and we're just going to uh, make a script that is main menu script go ahead and press enter press create and add and it will add it to your thing just like that and you can see I've got it right there I'm gonna go ahead and open this up in C sharp and you can see we now have a script open so make sure you go ahead and open your script so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open our script just like we have and we're gonna get rid of the void starts and our void update functions because we don't need these at all so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna make a public void and we're gonna label this call it start function make sure you put your two curly brackets and then just like that you've got open function and we're just going to simply put a scene 
manager but you can see that it doesn't type up and that is one thing that we do need to do we need to go to the top of your script and put using unity oh if i could spell that would help engine dot scene management without this unity engine dot scene management you won't be able to change anything in your game uh, regarding scenes and switching scenes and stuff like that so make sure you do not miss that bit at the top go back down to your scene manager I'm going to restart this just to show that it shows up scene manager and you can see that we've got it now so we can choose scene manager to load scene and we're gonna go to so I've got some other scenes in my game this is just a very simple game and you can see I've got an error there but that's because we haven't finished so you see I've got level 1, level 2 and level 3 so we're going to put the syntax of level 1 so you can see it's just level 1 with a capital L so we're going to go into this script right here and we're just going to type in level 1 go ahead and put a semicolon at the end of that and I'm going to show you what that looks like once we wait for this to load that little error should disappear in the corner now what we're going to do, we're going to go to our canvas, start button, and we're going to scroll down. And you can see we've got a little object here. We're just going to drag in our main menu manager object into this. And then we can go down to function, main menu script, and we can go to that start function. Go ahead and save that. And now if we click on our start button, it will take us to our new scene. This is just a little uh, level I set up for a project I had in the past. Uh, if you want me to do a tutorial on this spotlight, go ahead and give me a comment down below. Anyway, back to our start functions and our other buttons. So you can see that that works exactly how we want it to work and that takes us to our new screen. Next one we're gonna do is options. So this is slightly more complicated, but you still should be able to do this just fine. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and create a new object. We're just gonna call this start menu. And this is where all of our buttons for the start menu are gonna be held in this start menu. We're gonna close this down. We're going to duplicate this object and we're going to call this options menu. And you can see we've got the same stuff here. Go ahead and click your start menu and just disable this just so we can see what this looks like. And maybe in your options menu you're going to want to have, if we get rid of that and we get rid of that, we just want to have a start button but we're going to relabel this to back. So that and then we've got a little back button. And I'm not actually going to add anything to this but I just want to show you how you'd get an options button up. So if we go to UI and maybe we want a... Uh, a slider which this could be our volume slider I'm not going to change anything about this but I just want to show you this is what it would look like uh, once we've done that so if we go to our back button here so actually first we'll do the start menu so if I disable this and I enable this if we go to our options button which is just here and we go down all we need to do is hit add we're going to go ahead and drag our options menu into here we're going to go to no function go to game object set active boolean and we're going to need to do this twice because we're going to need to drag in our start menu and do the same for game object set active. So what these two functions do, so basically when we click the options button, the options menu will be enabled and the start menu will be disabled. And I'll show you how this works. So we hit play, the options menu will be uh, enabled and the start will be disabled. And now you can see we're in a brand new you can see that the start menu gets disabled and the options menu gets enabled obviously this volume doesn't do anything yet but yeah now we need to go to our back button we're going to get rid of this function we're going to open a new one we're going to drag our options menu in and press plus we're going to drag our start menu in and hit plus or i could just miss that works too so our options menu needs to be disabled and our start menu needs to be enabled just like that and now you can see we can switch back and forth uh, between these two canvases, backwards forwards, just like that. It's a very handy, easy thing to do, and our start button also works. The final button that I do want to tackle today is the quit button, and lucky for you, the quit syntax is super, super simple, and you'll be able to do this very quickly. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and make a brand new public void, public void, and we're just going to call this quit game. We're going to open this up with curly brackets and all we're going to need to put is application.quit to brackets open and close and put your semicolon and that is all we need to do now we can go to our quit button in unity scroll down drag our oh what we should do before that is go to it and hit plus just like that go ahead and drag our main menu in go ahead to our main menu script and choose quit game 
and what you'll see in the editor you won't be able to see an effect but that is because we haven't built built the actual game if you were to go ahead and build the game and you press quit it would in fact close the game because that is the exact syntax that you need apart from that guys that is how to make a very simple very quick main menu in unity if you enjoyed the video go ahead and subscribe i've got tons more very basic tutorials for you to follow and start your own 2d game go ahead and like the video and comment if you want any more tutorials and i'll thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye